Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 2012. This is Dead by Dawn on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. It was written by a guy called Malcolm Kirk in 2012. And basically it's used, it's written using something called 3D Construction Kit that lets you, lets you create a 3D world with basically Freescape. If you don't know what Freescape was, well, yeah, if you come from my era or my country, and then you'll know that Freescape is what was used for Driller, um, Darkseid, uh, Total Eclipse 1 and 2, and Castle Master. It's a 3D environment that was absolutely groundbreaking ahead of its time, especially when you can see that this is a 48k game so if you didn't grow up with the Sinclair ZX Spectrum you'll probably look at this and just not understand what an amazing thing it is anyway I only just became aware of this I found it on World of Spectrum but I couldn't find other than the guy who wrote it and it was written with a 3D construction kit I couldn't really find anything else about it so I had to piece together the controls myself of which there are a lot because you've got a function in a, like I said, put yourself in my head in 1988, Ickle Dave, and this will blow your mind. But yeah, there are a lot of controls. So I've kind of worked them out. Basically, it's based on Evil Dead 2. Uh, you've got your Necronomicon at the bottom there for the number of pages you have to collect to send the deadlights back to hell. And on the right, you've got keys, which obviously will allow you to go for locks and progress forwards. Um, I always thought it was called Evil Dead 2 in Europe and Dead by Dawn in North America. Maybe it was. And then one day in 1980, 1998, when I went holiday in Canada, I bought a copy of it, a remastered copy on VHS in Clamshell, which was rare for North America, and that was called Evil Dead 2. So I'm confused, but we know what it is. Stars a legendary Bruce Campbell, directed by Sam Raimi, and that's it. So anyway, that's the cabin in the woods. Yeah, I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking that's still a piece of prime real estate. We'll just stick a disclaimer on the door. So anyway, the controls are P is look up, L is look down, right, then O is forwards, K is backwards. I apologise about the background noise, but this is only 48K and I live on a main road. You don't want background noise, buy me a nice cabin in the woods. Just not that one. Z is left. X is right. Q is turn left. W is turn right. So you see what I mean about the full degree of movement? And then N is rotate left. M is rotate right. So this is really impressive. I never knew there was a 3D construction kit on Spectrum that you know were like this like a world one and certainly didn't know that you could you know build using freescape or unless it was something later then i don't know i'm really late to the party on this six years too late apparently but i do know that there's an amstrad version as well which makes sense because the amstrad's very similar to spectrum some degree in architecture oh space toggles between moving your crosshair around and b Fires. So back to space. Right, we want to move. No, we want to turn left. It's, I'm gonna. The, fault, the me being cr clunky with the controls are not the controls fault. That's entirely me. But I do know we go in here and we can get a page of the Necronomicon. I have had a little go just to familiarise myself with the controls. So I know where the Necronomicon first page is, and I know where the key is to get me into the cabin. Uh, but we're gonna go to the work shed. Boring random fact, it's on the commentary of the DVD, when Kurt Russell once met Bruce Campbell, we're talking way back then, um, apparently at a party, this is what I heard on the DVD, he approached him and just said, say it, say the line, and Bruce Campbell was like, what, and um, Kurt was like, say work shed, anyway, we're going to go in here, that's my health at the top, oh, ironically it does say energy, because Linda's head is in here, in the, uh, the work clamp, so we're going to have to shoot it, oh no, Toggle, there we go. Ooh. It's a lot of keys to get your head around. Again, that's me. I mean, practice makes perfect and all that. Like space, turn it off. You can tell you turn it off because you've just got your main receptacle and that other one's gone. And then look down. So underneath the head was where the Necronomicon was. Page was. I have the, the, the foam Super Whammy Edition of Evil Dead 2. It's not a Blu-ray one, but you get the foam outside to make it look like the Necronomicon. It says, right, hang on. 
A is activate, which in that case is taken a page. Look bottom left next to the chainsaw, you'll see I've taken a page. Uh, space, turn that off. P, it's all about being spatially aware, like I said. Right, then uh, Q, turn around. Uh, I mean, if there's more than one Deadeye on the screen at once, then I'm poop screwed, but... That's these games in general, though. That's Freescape games. They play like this. Anyone who's from my era will know that. Because they were on all formats. Obviously, they were super whammy on the 16-bit uh, versions. But it's ain't 16-bit. U is a U-turn. I'm lost now. Right, I need to look up. Right, there you go. Right, rotate. Don't strafe. Now you can strafe. Strafe back. Right, now... I know what a key is. There we go, we're outside. Right, so Q rotates. That, like I said, it takes a lot of getting used to. But that's me. I just, I'm just blown away that someone did this. Because I like the Freescape. I love the Freescape games. I've got a gameplay of Castle Master. Is it Castle Master? Um, and yeah, and Evil Dead 2, which is one of my favourite movies of all time. So yeah, right, so I'm assuming this is a cave. A hole? If we hold a goal? Right, now there is a room in here that will kill me. I might, shall I show you it? I don't know, I just want to get to the cabin. I just want to dance. <clears throat> right, there we go. Yeah, in there there's a beastie. I don't know what he is. He looks like a big, uh, massive Necronomicon. No, we're going to get the key and then we're going to go in the cabin. Because look at my health, it's absolutely tanked already. But see what I mean about the simplicity, but how groundbreak it was for the time because if you look on the left now you will see as you get closer to the wall that there is a corner you know there is depth there see that's sorry like I said people that's impressive it's a 48k machine right and I will always vehemently defend the ZX Spectrum to the death right always Ivan Drago says to the end don't know why I said that because it's the 80s right so there's a key in there Right, okay. And if you go in that end bit, there it's all red and shit. I'm not sure. Should I go in there? Right. So, hang on. Right, we look down. Like I said, it's about remembering the to toggle. Space. Right. A. Got a key. Bottom right, see that? Got a key. P, look up. Uh, right, so we're going to go to the cabin. I just want to get in the cabin and then this gameplay is complete. I mean, like I said, search it. You can bet it World of Spectrum. Uh, there aren't any controls there. You'll have to search for the controls. But I've given you the controls, so there you go. You is U-turn, by the way. There's an extra one. That noise is me hitting the wall, so strafe to the right. I don't think that takes my energy. I'm not sure. Right. If you go down to the woods today, just fucking up. Sam Raimi's not there. It's going to be a really painful trip. I don't know what that is on the left. Go oh, yoink. Yoink. It's cool as well though. While I'm pressing forwards, you can strafe and you can rotate. That's a nice little touch. I'm hoping this key. Well, I know this key will actually. I just died immediately afterwards. But get me into the cabin. I don't know if you could top up your health. I'm hoping you can. Right, come on. Breaking the law, breaking the law. I don't know why I always say that in games and I need to get, like, pace going. <coughs> right, there we go. Cabin. Strafe. See, that's cool, man. That's cool. Think about it. 48k machine is doing 3D. Take out with a pinch of salt. Like I said, that helps. I'm, I'm assuming most people, because this says ZX Spectrum, the descriptive title, well, you know, obviously no, therefore it's that spectrum. This is 3D and this is impressive. This is Freescape. Again, you know, if you want to know what it's like, look up stuff like Driller, Darkseid, and Total Eclipse. And how we look up um, Castle Master on my channel. Right. Let's go. I should have walked around it just out of curiosity to see how big it is. That's what she said. Right. So. A, I'm assuming it automatically uses it. I don't know. So when I get all the pages, do I just press... Well, that's not going to happen in this gameplay. Do I just press A and then that does that? Right, hang on. <coughs> Farty noise. We're in. Are we back? We're back. Right, we're in the cabin. We're in the cabin. How cool is that? Not as cool as that. The deer head is on the wall and there's the fireplace. I might have a look at the fireplace. If I was going to hide an Economicon page, I would put it in there, wouldn't you? 
I think we're called Bruce Charcoal in this, by the way. Play on the character and the actor. I'm pressing down, right? No, there's nothing. No, there's nothing in there. Right. Look back up, look back up, look back up. Have I got unlimited ammunition then? Which is quite handy when you're in a possessed cabin. I'm not going to lie. That's my advice to you kids. If you go to possessed cabins, unlimited ammunition. Maybe a chainsaw arm. Just saying. Right, so. Right, where are we going? Let's go through Shah. I'm going through Shah. Right. <coughs> Right, where are we now? Let's go for Shah. Oh. Oh, hang on. Is that my reflection? I, yes, that's it's the mirror. Do you remember when he sees his reflection in the mirror? Oh, wow, that's cool. I like that. That's attention to detail, my friends. Oh, hang on. That's me hitting the wall. I should U-turn. I've got to face up and then I'm going to U-turn. I really like that. That's evil ash. In the, oh, no, and again. In the mirror. And again. I keep pressing strafe when I should be pressing left. There's the mirror again. Right, let's move around and then we'll see if we can find the door. But yeah, I mean, this this is this is my bread and butter. Because A, it's Spectrum. B, it's Freescape. It's C, it's Evil Dead. What's not to love about this? So anyway, I'm going to call it quits, Shah. But yeah, holy cow, man. I, how come I never knew this existed? This is, this is amazeballs, even though I lost. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you later.